Okay. Can you guys see that nice shiny, shiny piece of metal? Let me see if I can get to see the camera how nice that looks. See the shine in it? Okay. How did I get that? Now, this is aluminum. I had to use aluminum because look how terrible it looks, right? I wish I had a better light. See how terrible that looks? Watch. 2500. 2500 is polishing paper. The sanding material is so very fine. They use this for automotive finishes. They clear coat it and then they sand it with this, which is really polishing. And then the final thing is to hit it with the compound, the buffer, to give you that super sheen. Now, I'm using aluminum because I want to show you, number one, that this does not scratch. Number two, it's super quick. Now, you have to do your barrels a long time to get the mirror shine that will outshine any FX barrel on the planet. Okay. So, that's the beginning. This is so simple. No scratches, fellas. Look at Not one scratch. This does not scratch and mark. Polishing paper that Ernest Rowe uses does nothing. You want to know why? There's no pressure. Ernest Rowe is an FX air gun repairman. He is not an air gun smith. And this system I developed because making... A lapping tool, which I guarantee you he doesn't even know how to do, is a nightmare. And you cannot get it through your choke. I have tried. You shove a, you put a brass rod down the barrel centered, and then you heat up your lead with a very high tin content. You pour it into the barrel. The brass, it sticks to the brass, just like solder. And then you have to pound it through the barrel to get it started. And then you've got to work it through the barrel. And let me tell you, it is a nightmare done it thousands of times look at the finish so it went from that to that without a scratch there's no scratches you will not scratch and Ernest Rowe is a repairman he is not an air gun smith I'm gonna show you how to do your hammers the valves stems in your valve systems we're gonna do the springs I'm gonna show you how to get more power out of your gun, not only by opening the transfer tube, and some guns you don't even have to, but we need to set your valve timing different, and we need to let your valve open easier. Now I'm gonna show you how to do all that for free. So, this is polishing. That, it takes you a very long time when you're doing steel. So look it, don't be afraid, and take your time and keep going. When you think you're done, guess what, you're not. You're not done, keep going. And once you're done, here's another thing. Forget about cleaning your barrels, that's gonna be over. Lead's not gonna stick. It's gonna be, you'll probably get two, 3,000 shots before you can clean it and you won't even notice accuracy differences. So that's it, get it done.